Hey, guess what I've got for you? Three tiers over on Tusk Talk with Ty Patreon. Why don't you go check them out? Link provided for you down below. And a special shout out to our month of May legendary status members. Good luck. So we're going to just keep on keeping on with the KJ Jefferson edited content. Why not? I mean, KJ, as I said in the last video, he's earned the, the, the reputation that he has right now being one of the better quarterbacks in the SEC. How about 247? They put out an article uh, titled College Football Rankings Top 25 Heisman Trophy Candidates Ahead of the 2023 Season. And they put him... In the top 20, they put him at 19th, and, and here's what they have to say about KJ. Again, this is completely free. Uh, I'll leave the link for you down below somewhere, either in the description box or maybe down. I'll pin it down below in the comment section. But they uh, go on to say about KJ, pacing towards posting Arkansas's highest career completion percentage. Jefferson is an efficient and dynamic quarterback with legitimate dark horse Heisman chances. Greater team success would go a long way in improving his odds. The Razorbacks went seven and six last year. All right, six and six. Right, Arkansas goes six and six in regular season last year. They win seven when they beat Kansas in the in their bowl game. So to have a quarterback and listen, I've stated for a while he belongs in the top twenty in this conversation when we're talking about the Heisman. You know, right now preseason Heisman list, he belongs in the top twenty. So I don't think that 19th is that bad. Would I put him higher? Probably, yeah, I, I would. I'd put him higher. But I, I don't have an issue with 19th. I don't know about – they put they put Drew Eller in front of him at 17th. And if you don't know who he is, you ought to go look him up, go watch his videos, go watch his highlights. He's a good quarterback. 6'5", 240-pound, former uh, five-star, number one quarterback in the country. Right? That's a lot. This kid is uh, – He's pretty good, man. He's he's got some great arm talent, but they even state in their own in their in the same article, Aller is a wild card in that he has yet to start a game for Penn State. Well, yeah, I mean he's he does have some playing time. They go on to talk about you know he's the number one former number one recruit who completed thirty five of sixty passes. I don't know that I would have included that part because that's just fifty eight percent completion percentage. The guy throws thirty five. Uh, completes 35 throws of 60 attempts for 344 yards, which is in and of itself not bad. But then four touchdowns, that's good. No picks, that's really good. 58% pass completion ratio. I don't know about all that. But you also have to look at the potential, and I think his potential is really high this year at Penn State. But I still would not put him in front of K.J. Jefferson. I, I would probably put K.J. somewhere in the top 15, you know, maybe just right in front of Drew Eller at 16th. They have Eller at 17th. So maybe somewhere right there. So they're not way off on this list. It's not bad. It's really not. It's not bad. Uh, I do, again, for the record, I do think preseason he ought to be ahead of Drew Eller. As I've stated before, KJ deserves as much, and he's proven as much. Special shout-out, of course, to this show's sponsors, Direct Service Overhead, the Garage Door Company, and the Odd Soul Craft Bar and Pizzeria. Once again, their links are provided for you down below.